right, y'all, there is no better place to be during the fall season than the North Georgia mountains, and I cannot wait to show you guys a little glimpse of what Blue Ridge, Georgia can offer you. And there is no better person to talk about Blue Ridge and show us around than Chad Laracy with Keller Williams Mountain Life Team up here in the North Georgia mountains. So Chad, thanks so much for joining me today. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course. And we are here on the main drag right in downtown Blue Ridge. And you've been born and raised here, right? I was uh, going up and down these streets with my little red wagon when I was just a little bitty kid. So yes. So it's safe to say that we're in good hands when it comes to touring the city today. So tell us everything that Blue Ridge can offer someone. We already know vacation rentals, mountain homes, all that good stuff. but. What's the main draw to the city? Oh my goodness, I think you just hit it. I mean, especially this time of year, fall. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants to come see the, the, the fall foliage and the beautiful colors and God painted an incredible canvas up Absolutely. here. And so uh, to be able to see that is unbelievable. But I mean, it's our, it's our lakes, it's our rivers. Mm -hmm. um, people come up here to go biking and hiking. And uh, of course, we are the trout capital of Georgia. Who knew? So Had they come no up idea. here and uh, trout fishing is huge. Okay. But I think it's, Folks just love to come up here to get away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. That's right. Uh, just enjoy some peace and quiet and family time and, and just uh, relax. And, you know, I think it's important to have that, that well, we were just talking about yeah. it, you know, that downtime and, uh, and family time. So I think that's what people come to the mountains for. So a lot of people come out of Atlanta, obviously, come from mm -hmm. the city, but come from all over just to see the views, see the mountains, and enjoy the restaurants, the wineries. I think you said oh, goodness. we're going to be. That we're going to be the next Napa Valley, they Crazy. say, Crazy. you know, in the next 10 or 15 years. So uh, yeah, just all kind of wineries popping up everywhere. So, and folks are really coming from all over to enjoy that. Well, we can see why we're walking the main drag. There's tons of shops, tons of restaurants. I mean, it seems like the perfect place to vacation with your family. Just come relax and have a great time. Yeah, the, and uh, you know, we're, we're two hours from Asheville, we're two hours from Atlanta, a little over two hours from Greenville, so it's like the, uh, the geographic phenomenon. You know, you can be here or uh, from any major city uh, nearby in just a couple hours. All right, Chad, before we head out of town, I gotta know, you told us the story growing up, what happened on this corner, where you got your work ethic from, so tell us that story real quick. Well, I mentioned to you that uh, used to pull my little red wagon up and down yep, through these okay. um, sidewalks. Well, my granddaddy, you know, back in the day, of course, I'm, uh, I'm 52 years old, so I'm a little bit older, <laughs> but uh, used to, when you got your Coke bottles or your Sprite bottles, they came with, you had to put a deposit down because they were glass, you know, it was way before plastic. But uh, folks would not return those to get their money back. They would just throw them out on the, on the road or the streets or the right. railed roads. And so I took my little red wagon all through town and picked those yeah. bottles up and brought them here to the five and dime and uh, whatever money that I, they would pay me for the bottles, my granddaddy would double it and give it to me. So Sounds like a just, good deal to me. Yeah, it, it was a great way to, to teach some strong work ethics, I thought. And you don't just do real estate. There's a couple other side gigs that you do too, so mention that. Oh yeah, well we have a couple of ancillary businesses. Uh, we have a company called Cabin Cares okay. where we focus on, um, you know, building relationships with our clients well after the sale. So we do uh, routine maintenance on cabins, we do uh, repairs, and we also do remodels. So it's that's all needed. A, mm -hmm, that's needed. And then we have a business called Doc Care, so the sister company. Uh, so we have three very, uh, very nice recreational lakes that we have, and they're owned or uh, ran by the Tennessee Valley Authority, TVA and they fluctuate throughout the year. So we offer a service to where we do uh, new dock sales. We also have uh, where we do monitoring. So we'll, we'll make sure that their docks stay floating and they don't go, you know, hit the ground and people like that. And then of course the, the basic repairs that need to be done on that as well. And then just this year, or actually last year, we added Mountain Light Builders. So we're building homes as well now. Wow, do it all. <laughs> One stop shop. That's, the, that's, that's, the, that's the plan. That's right. Okay, Chad, I know you're a super humble guy and you don't want to talk about yourself, but we got to talk about the Keller Williams Mountain Life team and how you got into real estate and your team. So tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I uh, went to school to be an architect. Okay. Found out pretty quick that I didn't want to be an architect. <laughs> so love being outside, love being with people. So I uh, came back up to Blue Ridge to open a family, or not open, but to work with my family in a furniture, appliance, and lighting store. So I started okay. working with builders helping them uh, rearrange some of their uh, layouts when they were beginning to build and take more advantage of the views and things of that nature. And um, 
so they started calling me and coming out and looking at their properties more and so I started with my customers taking them out and selling their houses there you go. and so uh, one of them just mentioned to me one day that I needed to be a real estate agent so I thought hmm, maybe I will so I went and got my license and uh, here I am so I think it's served you pretty well huh it has served me pretty well and born and raised in Blue Ridge you said so born you know the raised. area very well there's no better team to come to because you're I mean you are the experts you don't like to say it but you are and your clients are everything I know that's really important to you it's just taking great care of your clients very important we, we consider our clients family and uh, that's the attitude that we go into it with uh, you know treat them as good if not better than we would our own family and that's been our uh, you know, what has contributed so much to our success, just our authenticity, uh, just being, you know, who we are. And people, when they come to the mountains, they want to work with folks who, who are from here. You know, from here, and friendly, who, easy to get along with. That's right. And know all the local folks and the local yeah. places to go and things of that nature. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun being able to work with our clients and, and share our mountains with them uh, that we're so blessed to get to live and work in every day. I love it. And Blue Ridge is beautiful, obviously, and now we're about to go see a stunning listing. One of the biggest draws to Blue Ridge is the amazing cabins that are on the mountaintop. So we're about to head to one now. You're gonna love this one. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So Chad, you and your team service all of North Georgia. So tell us which areas of the North Georgia mountains that you kind of service. Well, as you know, we're just a couple of hours north of Atlanta. So we start in Ella J, uh, travel on up 515 into Blue Ridge. And uh, on up from there, you're going to hit Blairsville and then Hawassie. So those are the areas that we primarily focus on. We do service uh, Murphy and Hayesville in North Carolina as well. Um, but those are our primary areas. And this is what everyone's paying for right here, right? This million dollar view. Absolutely. This Absolutely. is kind of what, this is what the real estate is. It, it is. I mean, you know, again, just to, to be able to come out, can you imagine picture yourself out here with yes, your family? Yes, I and can. Sitting down, <laughs> just enjoying this, this view. We just saw a... Uh, a beautiful scene a minute ago with the birds flying through and you know it's just it's, it's just this is what you pay for this is it this is the it. peace and quiet um it's uh i always say it just gets you a little bit closer to god and Amen. you know and and um it's just so important I, i'm realizing that molly as i get a little bit older so this is what life's all about right here taking time to enjoy the small that's things right. that's right so when we talk about real estate, tell us a little bit about price point, what people can expect, those coming from Atlanta, looking to purchase a vacation home, looking to sure. purchase a second home. Well, you know, they always say that uh, real estate is very hyper-local. So each of our markets, each county, uh, LJ is a little bit different than Fannin. Right. Fannin, which is Blue Ridge, is a little bit different than, than Blairsville. Right. You know, I always say Gilmer County, which is LJ, Fannin County here in Blue Ridge, is more primary second home. So you'll see a lot more cabins, mountain cabins, lakefront cabins, um, you know, creek front, all those things, river, and th that's what people are really searching for. Uh, you move on up into Blairsville, it's a little bit different. Up there, it's um, a little bit more, I would say, full time or seasonal. Gotcha. Uh, so, more traditional homes mm -hmm. in Blairsville, not to say there's not some cabins there. Right. Or, you know, traditional homes in Blue Ridge, mm -hmm. but primarily it's more. Uh, traditional homes there and in Hiawassee. So each market, that's what I love about it. And that's probably why we cover such a broad area because, you know, it, each county offers something a little bit different. And you can have a smaller cabin or a... Much larger. Much larger. So, I mean, you know, COVID changed things a little bit. So price points to get a, a nice cabin, especially if you're looking to rent, uh, you know, to, to offset some of the expense with some income coming in, you're probably going to spend, you know, you can expect to spend at least $600,000 right. to get a get a nice uh, investment property that will generate a, a really good return on your investment. Um, and then the prices can go up from there. Not to say that you can't get something a little bit less than six hundred. dollars you certainly can. It just may not have the big mountain views. It might be a little bit more private setting, uh, you know, surrounded by woods, which I personally like. Definitely. And, uh, but it's, uh, you know, I think you can find just about whatever you want here. In whatever place. piece someone's looking right. for, it's going right. to be here. Absolutely. Well, for anyone out there looking to purchase a home up here in the North Georgia Mountains, you're the guy to go to, so tell them how to reach you. Well, uh, I, it's not me. The it's team. My, it's my team. It is uh, the Mountain Life Team. You can find us at uh, themountainlifeteam.com. Uh, Google us. Uh, we are very proud of our five-star experience that we offer our clients, so uh, just check out our reviews, but you can also give us a call at 706-745-3123. Perfect. And of course, Southeast Mortgage here to help you with all of your home financing needs.